This is D-Man and Tosspot live at the Experience here in Denmark, and it's looked like it's levelling up to be a fantastic tournament, Stuart. Yes, it is. Um, I mean, we've got every big team out there here. We've got a huge prize purse, 25k up for grabs. Uh, it's it's going to be a, a phenomenal weekend. I really cannot look forward, to, uh, cannot wait for it to start. And it just has. So here we go. Dignitas L3, what a game to start us off with as well. I mean, two absolute giants. Lowland Lions are prepared. They are rocking and rolling. I mean, they were they were expecting to do better in AEF than they did. <laughs> and that didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> well, in Alliance versus Lowland <laughs> Alliance here on Crash. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so here we go. Fred direction. comes in. Doko down. Jopo comes in with a vengeance as we're at a one-on-one -on -one already. And uh, now, uh, you know, we'll uh, quickly sound out the warning that I'm pretty sure every player in the arena can hear me talking. Uh, and so I, we can't be too specific. Uh, also coming up this weekend on quadv.com, we're brought to you by ExcelBet. And basically you can go on to ExcelBet.com and bet on all of these matches. Now we'll be bringing you odds and updates throughout the weekend as to uh, what uh, what each match has. There we go. Sko's going to get shut down. Dignitas will pick this round up. It looks like, no, Sticky's going to get himself a frag. And suddenly, if Lee would just press that nice mouse button, <laughs> we'd be able to find out what's going oh, on. Mick falls to his death. Greater. That will allow the bomb to be defused. <laughs> and uh, round number one to Lowland Lions. So uh, Dignitas slightly rusty in the first round. Defused. I seem to be a lot louder than you, Tosspot, so I think I'll uh, edge that you up. That makes a pleasant change. Yeah, that does make a very pleasant change. So, if you guys are listening, get yourselves into hash quad VIRC. We are running fairly much off the bat today. Uh, we were literally, we were thinking, oh, you know, we'll uh, we'll try and maybe skip this one, just iron out the technical errors, and then we saw it was Dignity as low in our lines, and we were like, no, we've got to cast that one, really. Uh, it should be a great game. So here we go. So I missed the first score, it was Lone Lions, wasn't it? So there we go, game scores. Crash. So Crash being the first map, you can check the uh, check the groups out on pretty much every new site out there. I know we've got Crossfire admins over here, the experience, I think Tech Nine are running some news as well. So they're all pretty much up there with the times of roughly when these games are going to be played. If you've not seen the experience arena, I'm sure you may have seen the pictures. It's basically a big X, so there's eight teams sat Pretty much back to back. They're not playing back to back because obviously they would be giving strats away. You can see down there, you can see Super down there, Pandemic are in there, obviously Digging Tusk, Lowdown Lions. I think uh, I can see, yes, that is George I can see down there. So Impact are in there. And Druids, looking around, I can also see, I'm not sure, sure who else, but I think Copenhagen Esports also down there. So, uh, I missed the score. <laughs> God damn, I turn away for five seconds, I look up, and I missed the score. So. We'll go live anyway. That's the match. So uh, there's going to be a lot of matches, guys. Don't panic if you miss anything because they will be all on video on demand. You can catch the MWP Sports Festival. There is 43 game VODs up there, match VODs. We really did outdo ourselves last week and 11 interviews. And we'll be and doing it all over again. We will be doing it all over again for the experience. And then again <laughs> next weekend. So Sko at the moment working in with that golden AK-47. Trying to work into lower. Crash! What a great cooked up nade there. Pops it in. Shuts down Sko and Raz. They weren't expecting that. Sticky worked that nicely. Straight timed up there. Five on two already. Five on one. Last man standing for Dignitas. It's Mick. It's two on. And Lowland Lions take the lead. Yes. Um, Lee, I'm going to ask you to uh, take okay. the stream whilst I work out how to publish stream one on the site. Oh, that's nice. It should be published. You just click the... Uh, Go down to TV1. Yeah, TV1 no, 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 you're on EU. Go down to TV1. Apparently it's my fault. And go on to there. That one there. Click that red square. And now we're published to the masses. But it was a nice start, anyway. Very rough. So you guys could catch it on VOD. But that'd be the one time you can catch something on VOD that you wouldn't have heard on stream. Well, also, everyone's spamming the MMS link, so they're all right. <laughs> Oh, right, they can catch it on there again, yeah. Damn it. So, three on three, Dignitas, Raz popping out the grenade, shutting down Jopo there. Three on two, Dignitas trying to plant. Dignitas on the attack here against Lowland Lions. The knife round was kind of a fail game. Raz almost getting shut down by his own team as he poked out. 
But Sticky does shut down Blackmane. Oh, and another great shot from Squirt Quirty there from Arches, shutting down Scope. The bomb plant's still not gone in, so now suddenly Raz, the last man standing, peeking through that little archway. I'm not too sure how much they can hear us down there. I don't think we're that loud. They will all have the game sounds on, remember, and also they've we'll, all got their uh, pretty much encapsulated headphones. We can hear them cheering now and again, but I don't okay. think we're that loud. But Quirty with another great shot. But if we suddenly down, right. scream, he's behind you, Raz, turn around now. They would probably hear that. Yeah, but that would be silly. Yeah, but well, we could give them misinformation. <laughs> we could give them misinformation. So 3-1 here, at Lowland Lines. Opening up an early lead and a shot from Quirty once again from Mick there. We did mention to uh, Quirty last night that uh, there is no raffle here, so he's going to have to win his prizes from the actual tournament. So, uh, if you miss the raffle, which I'm sure many of you have, judging by the spam, that you want to see the raffle three again with uh, George dancing. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, oh, another shot from Jopo. Uh, Raz replying. Zenith going down. Zenith in his, well, not quite in his home country, but he's in Scandinavia. He's a bit closer to home than he was before, so he's obviously going to be looking to perform. Obviously, a lot of Danish teams here, being that we are in Ross Gilda. Rasmo shutting down Duku there. He's actually changed his name. Sticky taking down Sko as well. Through the wall, nicely shut down from Raz there. On Sticky as soon as he came down the stairs. Going to get the bomb down. No. Denied by Quirty with that rifle. Blackman smokes it up. Is he using, is he going to stick with the SMG? I think he will do. He's going to go for that bomb plant. Oh, Quirty's cooking up a nade here. I think he could shut him down. That's going to go bouncing in nicely. Oh, but it didn't take him down. It tagged him up heavily, though. He's going to come up the stairs. Peeking around, coming up with the deagle. Quirty versus Blackman. Sniper on sniper. Picks up the MP5. No, that wasn't the AK-74, sorry. 28 seconds. Looks like he's going to go for the outside. Blackmane has got himself positioned nicely. Will he see him? I don't think he will from the position he's coming in, you know. He's going to be looking upstairs. He's going to be peeking. No, he comes around the corner, shuts him down nicely. And Lowland Lions are wrapped in cheers. And it will be 4-1 now on the attack for Lowland Lions. Yes, on and defense, I tell you sorry. what, they're looking pretty good. Um, and that basically is... Uh, you know, uh, early morning jitters or something from Dignitas. They are, they are wavering. They are. Uh, well, it's probably a little too close to the microphone, isn't it? Sounds a bit strange. <laughs> <laughs> um, they are uh, well. Quad is going to open up the fragment to go there as well. So Dignitas really suffering a bit of a well Wednesday morning hangover. In fact, it's Thursday. Thursday morning hangover. Um, you know, they're going to have to. Uh, what the devil they're going to. Uh, about that to uh, change this one up as uh, now we're on board with uh, with Dignitas following Mick three on five make that three two on five Restyle picks up Zenith there Jopo helps himself to a frag and Lowland Lions a five on one and Dignitas sinking without trace Raz one on five in trouble dead Lowland Lions walking all over Dignitas and I'll tell you what this is not the Dignitas that took Third place or fourth place at fourth place. A year. <laughs> or first at I-33, in fact. And they are looking a little bit out of shape here on Crash. And Lowland Lions are looking strong. Sticky taking out Mick once again. Mick has died in the first few seconds of every single round, I think, so far. Barring that startup. Jopo does go down there to Blackmane's grenade. Restart tossing out a nade of his own. Missing it. Peeks towards the uh, slats. Didn't get anything, though. Sko works his way in. <coughs> Blackmane shutting down Sticky on Zenith's worked his way in there. Shuts down Dooku. He's got and towards the top. Standbacks peeks towards the back there. Finds Quirty. Doesn't get any frag on him though. But he knows he's on the back road and they are working towards him. He's going to be sat ready and waiting as soon as they hop up over that fence. There he goes. Quirty goes down to Sko. That's going to be a Dignitas round. And Raz finishes off and shuts down Restyle. That's the kind of pace we expect to see from Dignitas. So 5-2 now the score. Top spot. They're starting to get in it. But uh, it's a little late on the attack. It is a little late. They have dropped uh, a fair few rounds here. I'm happy to sort of put it down to uh, to early morning jitters. But with the way that the experience is set up, it's very, very different to any other LAN event in terms of financial distribution. Winning the group is worth 400 euros to you. Thus, Dignitas, this potentially being a group winning match, is uh, going, to be, uh, going to be crucial as uh, they will need to uh, get their act together and win this win this group to take 400 euros home and assure themselves of uh, 
some financial uh, benefits. Raz now on board. Four on four. Restart will help himself to a frag on the black main there. Fantastic work, and the Lions must uh, regroup now once more. Stick will find himself a frag on to Sko. Dignitas in trouble again here, down to just two men. Has is one of them, has found himself uh, a frag. Oh, hasn't found it. Mech's been shut down. Restart claims that one, and Raz now one on four. What on earth is going wrong for Dignitas here? They're getting separated. They're in trouble. Oh They're going to lose this round. It is 6-2. And Raz should never lose a, a 1v1 on the stairs like that with no. the SMG. I mean, he's a, he's a fantastic SMG player, and ha, ha, he just really, in them sort of situations, he kind of just threw it away and figured, oh, it's 4v1. I'm not going to win. But uh, here we go. Raz cooking up the nade, tossing it straight out, peeking in blue rooms. They fell a few times. Mick hasn't fell for the uh, grenade this time. They fell a few times, but Blackman shuts down Jopo. Raz is blinded. In the crash site straight away as soon as he works his way out there. 1 minute 25 on the clock. 6 3, the, uh, 6 2, sorry, the score. To learn the lines. QWERTY with another great shot. He really is disrupting Dignitas. And uh, to be honest, he's got the complete run of Dignitas. Zenith comes leaping through there. Sko goes down to Sticky. Restyle being dropped by Zenith in reply. Jopo from the arches with a single shot in AK. Trying to get the tags. So the bomb being planted quickly by Zenith this time. As Lowland Lions work the way up. Sticky tries to clear out stairs. Dooku tries to pop him in there. Catches someone on stairs. He takes down Mick. Mick shut down Sticky. But the uh, the wall banging or roof banging, I guess you could call it. And Jopo shuts down Zenith. They're going to get the bomb defuse. And that is another clean round for Lowland Lions. They are romping this one. Yeah, and if you look at what Dignitas are doing, they're getting themselves caught out very, very early on, losing a lot of one-on-ones. And it's not, even, it's not even that simple fact of being outmanned and finding people you know, in, uh, in two-on-ones and just being poorly positioned for that. They're losing one-on-ones, and you know, that kind of a situation is, is, is going to hurt you straight off. So, I mean, full credit to Lowland Lions here. But this is uh, already looking like a touch of a, well, I guess an upset if you uh, go by things. And uh, I'll tell you what, on xlbet.com, you could have made some good money had, had you picked L3 to win this one. Uh, Qwerty and Doko will uh, pick up a frag each, four on three. Frag off that one. Blackman now will make his way down on the right hand side toward that one frag. As a Restyle will land himself a grenade frag onto Sko. Jopo in on Blackman and again we're down to a 4 on 1. Again it's caused by losing 1 on 1. And again they're losing it. 10 rounds down, wow. 8 to the score. Dignitas. No, Dignidote. <laughs> Oh, the puns continue from the AEF. So, what are Dignitas going to do in reply? I'm not too sure, to be honest. 8-2 down. There's not a lot you can do when QWERTY shuts Mick down and Sticky takes Blackman down in the very first seconds with a headshot from Jopo. Lowland lines romping through Dignitas here. Sko gets dropped by Sticky. And suddenly, we're down to a 5v1. Zenith with it all to do. 9-2. What a score for the first half. Well, I mean, what on earth is going on here I mean this is this is this is a crash <laughs> this really is and I had Dignitas doing well at I-34 I thought they were going to go on and win it but at this rate I'm not too sure because Lowdown Lions will be at I-34 I have Dignitas committing suicide after this one blimey QWERTY finds himself a frag black main down restart oh. these nades they're all over Dignitas Mick though taking it to Lowland Lions but Sko shut down. Mick is going to have to pull out Nace, and he can't. 10 2. Jopo picks up the frag. Lowland Lions. They're not lying low anymore. <laughs> I mean, that's a phenomenal half. Absolutely phenomenal half. A collapse of biblical proportions from Dignitas. Their attack, they may not, they shouldn't have even bothered. So, as soon as Lowland Lions sort themselves out, they've got three rounds to pick up here in the second half. Dignitas have a colossal defensive job to pull out. It's uh, a sign of scores. You just, I don't know really where you, where you take it from. I mean, Dignitas, they were looking strong at uh, Antwerp Peace Balls Festival. They had a few issues. They couldn't handle it against, I believe, Pandemic. They, uh, what did they fall on? Backlot on against Pandemic. And they just, 
they've, since then, they've just not looked themselves. They were they were good against DG. They were they were looking very good against DG, but just I, I don't know what's happened in the transition. I believe they were at the Copenhagen uh, Gaming Center yesterday. Yep. Trying to uh, sort themselves out, sort some strats out, but clearly doesn't seem to have worked and done the job. So good luck, have fun from uh, Lowland Lions. Nothing at all from Dignitas. I think there are uh, some serious talks. And like you said, the winner of this group will get a buy through to the next round, so it will be an automatic 400 euros. You can still get through to the winner bracket. The top three will go through from the group. So uh, it's not all over for them just yet, but it's strange that Dignitas always get these very early morning games, actually. They were, they were first thing in the morning against... Uh, CDC. Yeah, and, and at CDC and at AEF. Yeah, but it didn't hurt them with either of those two events. No, not really, but they had a fairly easy group. This time they've got a tough group. They are groups of six, guys. You can check them out on many of the websites that are covering this event. There's some big groups in there, really. Yeah. EG and Pandemic together. There's uh, uh, H2K and... Uh, yeah, I can't remember. I haven't got the actual list in front of me, but I just know there was a, a group of about... I think Group C looks like a be definite group of death, as it were. So at the moment, Dignitas in defense. They need pretty much every round of this defense to pull anything out. Lowland Lions, they went to bed early last night. We uh, we walked into the hotel. They were waving at us out the window. It was a nice greeting. It was. <laughs> it felt like a president. Or something. Mick <laughs> finds himself a frag there. And Dignitas, well, they do have themselves uh, up in this round. Black main drop, though, three on two. Suddenly, the round afoot once more. Mick flies across that corner. Two on one, Doko, last man standing, one on three, not going to make it out. Dignitas do pick it up on their defense. So they're going to have to pick a lot more up on this one. And I'll tell you what, that was a little bit more like it from Dignitas. They sensed the danger and moved very, very quickly. But that was uh, that's a bit of a rarity f uh, from, from their attack. A bit of a crucial round, really, for Dignitas. First defensive, they had to win it because if the Northern Lions would have won their first attack, it just, they'd have just completely rushed through. In fact, one more round, really, it's just going to boost that confidence massively, and they will start just piling on through. So Raz works his way in there, and I thought I saw a grenade bouncing in. I wasn't sure, but it was Black Mains, and this is going to be Lowland Lions round. They've got the bomb down. They've got the last man down. It's 11-3. They're two rounds from match point. They're two rounds from winning. One round from match point. And I'm shocked. I mean... I, I don't know what's going wrong with Dignitas. They are being made to look very, very average right now. I know that uh, Newman's on IRC and he's probably watching. And he's probably scratching his head as well. Here we go. Restyle makes his way through. Raz picks up the opening frag. Joe down. Raz gets another frag. Let's go on the prowl. Dignitas up by two here. Restyle makes it just one as he finds a frag onto Raz. And now Lowland Lions can try to convert. Dignitas sit waiting for them. Freestyle's already got eyes on one of them as he makes his way through. Should find it. Stick helps him out, finds the frag. Zenith down, three on three. Dignitas collapsing. As Quirty makes his way forward and now will dart around the back. Shut down by Sko as he gets his positioning all wrong. Sko's going to help himself to another. And reports of Dignitas' demise may have been over-exaggerated somewhat or premature in 11-4. They pick up that round, but they are still on the precipice. They're skating on the edge. We saw this with Low, uh, Coma Crew, sorry, on this map against Pandemic in the finals. They did bring back quite a few rounds, actually. I think it was about 12-5 at one point. They brought it back to 12-9, but it was just too little too late. And that may well be the case for Dignitas here. So Restyle tossing out the nade. Trying to land that opening frag. And there it is. Lands it perfectly with that grenade. Straight into Zenith. That's going to be a long-range grenade. Straight into the top of Lamp Room, I believe that was. Oh, and Sticky's grenade on Mick. This is how they are ripping them apart. Every grenade. And a lot of teams, they, 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 you know, they abuse people for like, oh, you've been on server practicing all these nades. Well, it works. There's no reason why you shouldn't do it. I mean, uh, you know, they call them geek grenades, uh, you know. All the tactical grenades, they spend all these hours on the server, and Pandemic said it themselves after they won the uh, thing. They reckon they are the, the, European, uh, the American team that spends the most time on server practicing their tra strats, practicing their uh, tactical nades, and all that, and it worked for them last time. Now, whether it worked for them in this event, I guess they would have to be favorites coming into it, winning such a big event. And 
10,000 euros in the last one. Even more up for grabs in this one if they can win every single winner bracket. You can come away with 13 and a half thousand euros, which is a massive prize for going through the winner bracket. Oh, and Raz manages to pick up a round. So, Dignitas not out of it yet, but they've still got six rounds to go back to back just to even draw it level. Yeah. I mean, you are looking at you're setting yourself a, an uphill struggle. It's like climbing Everest without any legs. <laughs> Grenade tossed up by Raz there. Now going walkies up the left-hand side through the through the smoke and, and the smoke clears and Raz is on the prowl here. Should get a long, long way as Joe Pose finds himself a frag onto Blackman. Sko avenges with two and then Raz gets himself in on the action after Sko goes down. Dignitas up by one but have some fantastic positions here to really sandwich the Benelux side as they make their way through. It's a Benelux sandwich with mayonnaise. Zenith and Mick finish the job off and well, they put it back up. They're down by now five. This will be a phenomenal, phenomenal uh, comeback. So Dignitas with it all to do. They picked up the last three rounds though, so it's possible, it's possible. It's not impossible. It's a, it's a hard work, they've got a long job. They need to dodge those tuck nades at the moment, the low land line seems to be pulling out, but Mick here rushing through, shuts down Jopo, nice work there. They've got themselves in a five on three advantage already. As Dignitas try to work it up, Rasmo does do that. QWERTY snipes though. Picking him off from Blue Room, I believe, and Mick just saw, caught a glimpse of him there. Let's try and spin across from him. There he is, just outside the crash site. Peeking round, four on two. Lowland Lions looking in trouble again on this round. They don't need to panic, though, because peeking on towards that helicopter. So his teammate just in front with that bomb. It looks like they're going to make a... Oh, no, he's not. He's going to take a peek. Now they may be thinking of a rotation, though, because he's just been spotted. If he does that again, he's going to lose his head. He's going to try it though, he's going he's gonna to try it, and he's not there, and there is Mick, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's Mick, the round's got shut down, so peek around Zenith's out the back as well, at the back of Lamp Room, Sko just out the back side with his golden AK, and Mick going looking for the frag, maybe they should just sit in time, they shouldn't go looking for these frags, so especially in the situation they're in. Looks like it's going to be a B push. Now Blackmane was sat around there ready and waiting. He shuts down Sticky. Quirty's the last man standing now as he works his way around. They're going to shut him down. It's 11-7. They are clawing their way back into it. Five rounds to go. Credit to Dignitas. They seem to have got over their morning hangover. They seem to be awake. <coughs> I think is the nicest way you can put that. <laughs> um, and now, perhaps, perhaps, they'll be able to... Uh, finish off what will be a lovely comeback but a big double grenade frag could easily just turn it for lowland yeah. that'd be one round and that'd be over the margin for error is nil well, they are up by a man here digging test this uh freestyle darts through this one a slow and patient one as qwerty finds himself the frag onto raz that's what i'm pushing somewhere on b and that should help jopo Fire from somebody. Actually, up there. No. Goes around the side. The bomb is down still, remember. Zenith picks himself up a frag onto Restyle. Three on four now. In favor of Digging Test. Quirty goes looking with Jopo to back him up for short range as they will push on through. Lowland Line still very much alive in this round. Mick, though, picks off Doko. Two on four. Going to be a tall order. Zenith gets the. Uh, well, gets a shot rather than a whiff. Quirty helps him out. And there's Zenith shut down. The Sko picks it up. Zenith didn't get shut down. Jopo and Quirty shut, picked off. And one by three. And three is the margin between these two players. So, well, a game of foot. That's five rounds back to back, I believe, they've picked from up. Two, yeah. So yeah. they went from 11 to half uh, 12. Uh, yeah, 11 to yeah, so six rounds. It's uh, not bad going for Dignan's house here, but they still have a lot of work to do. And Sko does go down to the opening grenade frag. Raz tries to pick himself up a frag as well, but immediately he's been shut down by Restyle, and that's put them at the disadvantage already. So now they have to work it, and Mick needs to be careful that Quirty isn't scoped up looking towards his top area. Restyle does go down. Quirty is there. Shuts down Zenith as they work their way down the B side. Dooku peeking down towards B long. I think that was Quirty just ahead of him. No, it wasn't. It was Sticky. And they have the bomb there as well. 
He got tagged up, so he's going to back away. But Dooku comes around to give him cover fire. And Sticky does shut down Black Man. It's a three-on-one. Mick with it all to do here. He's got a two-on-one situation. He's going to bomb it round the backside. Bomb goes down. They're going to be sat ready. He's just caught a glimpse of one behind that concrete bollard. I'm sure. And he did. I'm not sure whether he saw it, but I definitely did. And Sticky shuts him down nicely. There's that nil margin for error coming in. They're on match point now. And Lowland Lions staring down victory now. They must... Uh, they must just keep their head and convert this because it uh, doesn't tell the full story, really. They've been in a dominant position. Their attack was, sorry, their defense was a joy to behold. Jopo opens up the fragging. Mick downed. They can finish the job here, baby. Sticky's going to try and put that bomb down. Ooh, grenade just bounced through. in. Oh, gets away. And they got three of them there now to defend that bomb already in, the, uh, in Keith's house as uh, <laughs> Sticky makes his way up. Restar finds himself another frag. Sko's going to get it. This could be GG. Black Mane, though, doesn't quite give up so easily. That's GG. Called already. Last man standing. Zenith finds one. Three more to go. As Dignitas already called a well played. They don't believe in him as he makes his way through. Sniper riles off. Zenith gets another one as he makes his way through. One on two. Another shot comes in from behind. He's not got much time to make it happen for himself as he goes looking for trouble. And he may have just caused himself more trouble than uh, it was worth going looking for that one. He has to find the frag. He's already got the sand. What's he doing? He's just a, he, he knew he had to go and find that frag on Doko because he knew that he would have gone looking for him. Dignitas have lost. LL finish off the job. And in style there, they picked it up. 13 to 8 the final score. You're on Quad V.